My name's Evan. I'm a third year astrophysics student at UC Santa Cruz, and I spent this summer as an intern at Lick Observatory. My day usually starts around 2 p.m., where I make the long commute from Santa Cruz to the observatory. Around 4, I'll make it to the mountain and quickly check in at the dorms. This is where I'll be spending the night. And then I'll head over to the telescope dome. Tonight, I'll be using the 3 meter Shane telescope. It's a mirror telescope equipped with the CAST low resolution spectrograph. Once in the control room, I'll boot up the startup software. When we're all warmed up, it should look something like this. To start things off, I'll configure the telescope to accommodate the science targets we'll be looking at tonight. After that, we'll take a few quick pictures to make sure everything works. Next, I'll boot up the focusing software to optimize our telescope configuration. Then it's on to lamp arcs to calibrate the spectrum. Lastly, we'll take some flat fields to subtract out any biases. Once we're done with calibrations, we'll break for dinner around 7 or 8, and then be back at the dome by nightfall. The telescope operator will start off our night by opening the observatory dome, and then it's back to my desk for me. From here, I'll select from our list of science targets to send to our telescope operator, so he can begin pointing the telescope. Once the telescope is pointed and guiding, I can then begin taking exposure photos. These exposures will be short, around 3 to 5 minutes depending on the brightness of the object. Despite the quick exposures, I'll probably be here all night because I have a lot of targets to get through. Six hours of exposures later, the sun will be coming up and it'll be getting too bright to observe. So we'll begin shutting down the software and getting things cleaned up for the next observer tomorrow night. Tonight was super successful. We got through all of my targets, which is over 100 exposures. A quick walk back to my dorm. And after about 12 hours of being on the clock, it's finally time to check out. And that's the night in a life of an astronomer.